in my hand with the shells so today really the story of how we came to be here and the pearling industry here in Australia then I'll be taking you out to meet your skipper Chris who will be taking you out to show you how we actually grow the pearls and farm them and finally you'll be coming back and I'll be taking you into our pearl braiding group where we look at all the virtues and the values of the pearl how we value them and how we set them into jewellery places at least in Australia that have a double name and the reason for that is that um, it's an indigenous word and in the indigenous language they don't make the plural by putting an s on it so you can't have moonies so they say moody moony and it doesn't necessarily mean lots of moonies it can mean very deep or very wide or very high and in this case moony means mud and moony moony means very mud. We've got something there that's about two to three months then we've got something that's about five months, four or five months old, that's that size. And then at about 11, 10 or 11 months old, they're like that. And that shell there, that's about a two, two and a half year old shell. So we can show you that. This uh, bloody barnacles and everything on it. But you can see those little oysters in there. So small. Yep. Can you see it, boys? tell you that I would have more blue pearls to show you if they didn't sell like that. So I kind of expect those ones to come up in value in the coming years. When there's some pearls that have been dyed pink, the only way that I could tell you that those are dyed is because it's got the label on it that says dyed. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah. 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 Yeah.
This is just a bra. I thought we were at least get the two of it per inch. Only one. Really? Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> So good. Yeah. Oh my god, please no. Please. Got a ticket. Everyone's looking at me, thinking that I'm different. Everybody